People have been telling me that my UI is too hard to read. Perfect. Energy pulses. Let's start with a simple example. Grenade! Yikes. Looks like our friend here needs a force field. Start by duplicating your object. Add a displacement modifier. Create a new material for it. Shield. And add a plane to make visualization easier. Using Eevee, make sure to change the blend mode to alpha blend. Time to set up our nodes. Plug the object output of a texture coordinate node into a vector mapping node. Plug the output of that into a gradient texture map, a color ramp, and use that to drive a mix shader that blends between emission and transparency. Add a new empty and select it in the texture coordinate node we added. Set the blend mode on your color ramp to ease and edit the stops to get an appealing result. We've now enslaved the texture coordinates to our empty. Animate it. rotate and scale the empty if you need to. You can even use a duplicate color ramp for the RGB input. Rainbows! Now let's try something a little more advanced, like this tree. This time I'm creating a new UV map for the effect and projecting it from view. The shader setup is nearly identical, but you use the UV output of the texture coordinate node. The mapping type is set to texture. Right now this looks no different than the previous method, but I'm going to make the pulse follow the branches for a more natural effect. Here are the pulses on the vertical axis of the UV map. I rearrange the UVs to be as vertical as possible. There's no need for finesse here, just straighten the tree as much as you can. Now instead of a uniform line, the pulse travels along the length of the branches. This tutorial has been brought to you by trees. Hug them. Hug them now.